So Angelo's in a sticky situation here. Complete side hoo lie. Needs to hit it high and big fade. That's it. 160 yards, I would take a six. I'm not even try to get on the green, maybe just in the front. But there's a massive tree. Not this one, if I go in like over the, that tree. I'm just trying to hit like a really big cut. Has he done it? Yeah, so not a bad shot. I'm just short. Uh, short left, easy chip. So, yeah. Yeah, so I was, I was sitting from like over this hill. I had to get over this tree. Uh, not a bad shot. Yeah, that's definitely side hill, buddy. Drawing a bit too much there. My cat gnaws. Oh, that's short. Okay, guys, so I have a little chip here. Let's say 20 yards. It's uh, really simple. I'm just going over a bit of a ridge. And then after that, just up all the way uphill to the pin. So I'm just going to play this one like a bump and run with my 56. Should, uh, should release uh, and roll out to the pin. So I'm not worried about checking up at all. And again, I apologize for the wind noise. We'll be getting a new camera, a new microphone soon, so that won't be a problem probably next week. What happened there? I don't know. Alright, so I guess it must have funneled off the ridge to the right. That looked pretty good. Know, it, looked, it looked like it was going to be good, and then all of a sudden it just kind of pushed to the right. So uh, Dylan has a probably a similar chip to what I had. He's going over this ridge again. There's a, there's a ridge here that I didn't notice. And the greens are also aerated, and I didn't know that either. That's why it was really slow. So let's see what Dylan can do here. He said a very nice shot there. Okay guys, so I just gave Dylan his putt because the greens have been aerated and they're pretty crappy. So I have about uh, 10 feet here for par. I thought I hit a pretty good chip, but because the greens are aerated, they didn't roll out as far. This looks like it's gonna be a bit right to left. I remember having this putt a couple days ago. So I'm, it's fresh in my mind. Those are the toughest putts to make when the greens have been aerated. So Dylan's gonna go here, but I don't, I don't really care. I, I've already given it to him. Yes, yeah, so he's made it. And we're here on the second hole, 545 yard par five, up the hill, and then it goes down a hill. Two bunkers on. There's a bunker on each side, pretty hard. No, just black it as it is. Alright, so um, a lot of you guys are wondering why the, why Dylan didn't play in the course vlog with me and Carl for the match. That's because he's a big camera shy. I've kind of been uh, getting uh, working him up to uh, doing this kind of video. I've been just telling him what to say and like uh, how to explain his shots. So he's actually done a pretty good job so far. I hope he can continue what he's doing. Yeah, it's part five, hitting driver. Okay, 
that's fine. So uh, Dylan's in the bunker here. He has 290 to the green. He said he's taking five runners to lay up, which is a pretty smart play. Yeah, so he said it well. So we have a really good line in the rough here. I'm taking three wood, 290 to the green with the wind. I would expect to get this one kind of down there within 30, 40 yards of the pin and have a really easy wedge shot in. Where is it? It's the green. Long or short? It's um, just left. So I have 89 yards here. I'm going to be hitting a 56. Uh, the greens have been aerated, like I said, so the ball's probably going to sit really fast on them. I've got to focus on flying this one all the way to the back. Wind's also with me, so I probably have to lay off it a bit. Shot. Okay, so Dylan has um, 25, 30 foot chip here. I have hit my, okay, he's gonna go and then I'll show you hit my shot. So he's run that by, actually no, it hasn't really run it by, but it's missed. And uh, that's my wedge shot, hit it to a foot, it's kicking. But we're not giving birdies, so I'm gonna have to put that one in. Never mind, no break. <laughs> okay, so Dylan has made bogey. He's one over now. And I have my first one left here. So they're gonna get kick in. I wouldn't kick it at the air race marks. Cool. Alright, so I made an educated decision here to uh, play the blues. They're 6,600 yards, so nothing short. But I just looked like playing 7,000 today because of the wind and it's a bit colder. The ball's not going as far and I'm not really warmed up. So, I'm just gonna play the blues. Dylan normally likes to play from the blues, so hey, he's good with it. No. 